Hello everyone, iOS 16.3.1 just officially came out, so let's go and take a look at it and see how it holds up into, I guess not in 2023, but how it holds up on an iPhone, in this case I have an iPhone 12. Now in this specific case, this update did come out to about 266.1 megabytes coming from the previous version of software. So you can just tell right there, it's not a massive update, but it's actually a pretty big update coming from iOS 16.3. Now some big things to keep in mind here immediately. It says this update provides important bug fixes and security updates for your iPhone. So keep that in mind. This is not a mind-blowing update. It's not going to do anything super crazy that we haven't already seen before. It's just supposed to basically, you know, bring a more adjusted, bug-free, hopefully less bug, you know, version of iOS 16.3. Now, beyond that, it didn't take too long to install. It took maybe like 20 minutes, actually less than that, from downloading the software to actually fully installing it. So not as long of a download and install, which is always so nice to have. Now, from 9 to 5 Mac, they basically did go on to say exactly what was going on with this version of software. So they basically say a few things. So for one, they say iCloud settings may be unresponsive or incorrectly displayed if apps are using iCloud. That is now apparently addressed in the specific version of software. So go on to say Siri requests for Find My, you know, may not work. That was another thing they brought in. But then they brought this last thing, which is crash detection optimizations on iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro models. For those of you who own an iPhone 14, much not like this one, but this iPhone that I have here, iOS 16.3 is one of those updates that's probably going to be super important, 16.3.1 in particular. Now, I have not updated this specific iPhone yet, but that is a big, massive thing to keep in mind. If you are planning on updating your iPhone at all, especially if you have an iPhone 14 or 14 Pro, this is the reason to update. For those crash detection features and whatnot, that is a massive issue that's been plaguing a ton of different iPhones. And for those people who have a 16.3 or 16.3.1 iPhone, updating is probably going to be an important thing. But also this crash detection thing was very, very concerning. So uh, that in and of itself is a massive thing as well. But beyond that, after installing this version of software for the last you know, hour and using it, not even an hour yet, it's been pretty solid. I mean, there's been no crashes, no nothing like that. So from that perspective, you're going to be okay, at least in my opinion. So I would highly recommend installing this version of software. It's going to be very, very important. And for those of you who are kind of in the middle, you don't know if you want to install it or not, again, coming from me, I would highly recommend installing it. It's probably going to be the least buggiest version of software right now on iOS 16 in general. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.